Hi, I'm Bacola, a developer advocate at Grafana. In this video, we'll walk through how to analyze core web vital metrics that you can collect with Grafana Faro and automatically visualize with Grafana Cloud front-end observability. Before we dive in, let me provide some context about Grafana's front-end observability solution. One of the biggest challenges in front-end development is understanding how users actually experience your website and applications. Websites could have slow load times, layout shifts, and unresponsive web elements, which can go unnoticed, quietly degrading the user experience. Grafana Cloud front-end observability brings visibility into the performance of your front-end by making real user performance measurable and actionable. This solution is made up of two parts. Grafana Faro, a web SDK which collects real user monitoring RUM data, like performance metrics, logs, exceptions, events, and traces and Grafana Frontend Observability, a hosted service that visualizes collected real user monitoring data through powerful out-of-the-box dashboards to make the data clear and actionable. With minimal setup, users get a comprehensive view of the performance of their front end and access to important information like page load speed, core web vitals, error logs, and sessions data. Now that you understand Grafana Cloud's front-end observability solution, let's deep dive into one of the first metrics you'll see in your out-of-the-box dashboard, which are core web vitals. Core web vitals are essential performance metrics defined by Google. Google recommends monitoring and optimizing these metrics to improve the user experience of your website and your website's search ranking. These metrics measure three key things, load performance, how fast your content shows up, visual stability, how stable your layout is, interactivity, how quickly your site responds to clicks and taps. Grafana Faro collects these metrics using Google's Web Vitals JavaScript library, and the metrics are automatically visualized in the out-of-the-box Grafana front-end observability dashboard via queries from Grafana Loki. These metrics are color-coded too, so you can quickly detect the performance of each metric. Green means good performance, yellow means needs improvement, and red means poor performance. Let's walk through each core web vital. The first core web vital metric we see is TTFB or time to first byte. TTFB measures the duration between a user's request and the moment the first byte of the server response is received. High values of TTFB typically indicate delays due to backend processing, inefficiencies, or network latency. A good target for TTFB is under 600 milliseconds. A high TTFB often indicates backend delays, network latency, or inefficient server configurations. The next web vital metric we see is FCP, or first contentful paint. FCP measures how long it takes the browser to render any piece of content from the DOM, such as text, images, or SVG elements. This metric provides insights into how quickly users see something appear on the screen after navigating to a page. For strong performance, FCP should occur within 1.8 seconds. Developers can improve FCP by removing render blocking scripts and prioritizing the loading of visible content and removing unused CSS and JavaScript. The next core web vital metric we see is LCP or largest contentful paint. Largest contentful paint measures the time it takes for the largest visible element in the viewport, like an image or a headline to fully render. This metric provides a clear signal of when the primary content has loaded for the user. A good LCP should be under two and a half seconds. To improve your LCP, compress large assets like images, reduce server response times, and eliminate render blocking JavaScript or CSS. The next core web vital metric we see is CLS or cumulative layout shift. Cumulative layout shift measures the amount of unexpected movement or content, also known as layout shift on a page during its life cycle. These layout shifts can be frustrating for users, especially when they try to interact with content that suddenly moves. To maintain a good user experience, CLS scores should remain below 0.1. And to minimize layout shifts, developers should define dimensions for images and videos, preload fonts to avoid late loading changes, and avoid injecting content above existing elements without reserving space. The final core web vital metric we see is INP or interaction to next paint. Interaction to next paint measures the time between a user's interaction and when the next visual update is painted on screen. INP captures all interactions throughout the session and reflects the slowest one, excluding outliers, making it a holistic measure of responsiveness. 
a good INP is below 200 seconds. Developers can improve INP by eliminating long JavaScript tasks, deferring non-critical work, and optimizing how and when updates are rendered. There you have it. You now know about Core Web Vitals, what they are, and how to optimize them. If you want to learn more about Grafana Fronts and observability, make sure to visit the documentation linked below. And make sure to tap the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos about Grafana's Fronts and observability solution. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.